in this video i'm going to walk you through how to design a beauty and cosmetic banner in photoshop and this is coming up hello everyone and welcome to the channel once again thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up so like always a link to the resources will be in the description in case you want to download any follow suit now let's get into photoshop so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a document and in this case we're going to file and then new so if you're using cc you're going to need a new set of approach but i think you arrive at the same place now you know banners are measured in feet but photoshop doesn't give you in feet so what you're going to do is you're going to have to try to convert from either of this measurement scales that is from pixel to the columns i wonder if anyone uses that but the first approach for me is inches so i'm going to convert my banner size so this is just like a five by it's actually supposed to be 36 which is five by three feet but then i just made it 32 so that the design will look good now this means that for every 12 inches is equal to one feet so we're going to have five by three feet and if you want to see a video on how i explain this because sometimes it gets confusing i'll leave a link in the description and then a video in the card here so let's proceed you go ahead and then you click ok so the first thing that we're going to add is a gradient overlay so you go to the gradient adjustment over here and then you're going to add a gradient now you open your gradient packs you might not have this in but then i'm going to give you the coordinates okay so you double click on the one that you want to use or any two set of gradients and then you can change the first color to a almost total black like this one this is the color code you click ok and then you're going to change the other one to this one as well so this is the color code you can use that and then you click ok once you're done you click ok from here depending on how you want to actually customize your gradients you can leave the settings to default that is the linear or better still if you want to follow the same suit you can change this one to radial and reverse it so that the dark blue will be at the back and then you can open the scale up a little bit to around 169 once you're done with that you go ahead and then you click ok the next thing that we're going to do is going to add a rectangle to it so you pick your rectangle and then you're going to draw a nice rectangle around this area so somewhere around here and then you're going to double click on the layer thumbnail and then you're going to change the color to white you click ok next off you need a rounded rectangle so you're going to draw a rounded rectangle around here the color remains white you're going to press ctrl a and then you're going to choose your move tool you're going to make sure that you center it horizontally so it'll be in the middle you can press ctrl t to open it up a little bit like that and then you position it nicely over here so next off we need guys to guide us in this design so we're going to set some vertical guidelines so you go to view and then new guide here and then what i'm going to do depending on the size of your banner is i'm going to set a 25 percent vertical guideline over here and i'm going to do the same thing for this side because i'll be placing things at the both end of the design and i want the measurement to be even so i'll go to view again and then i'll add a new guide and i'm going to set 75 so 25 from 100 and you're going to get so you realize that from this area to this area they are pretty much the same now i'm going to bring my rounded rectangle underneath of the rectangle you get to understand this later and then on top of the rectangle i'm going to pick my rounded rectangle again and i'm going to draw some couple of small rectangles that is rounded rectangles over here so i'll draw it around this area and i'm going to push it to this side we can for now change the color so that we can see actually where we want it positioned but then later on we're going to change the color so i can press ctrl j to make a duplicate of this rounded rectangle and i can drop it to the very far end of the design so you realize that if i take off the 
guidelines you're going to see that they are on the same page even right and this is the particular rounded rectangles that we're going to place in our perfumes and cosmetic stuff so now that we know that they are all in the same place what we can do then is change back the color and then we add a couple of drop shadow to it so that we know but first off let's place in our perfume so i'll go into my resources and i actually got perfumes without backgrounds and some of them i had to remove the background for you and then put it for png so that it can be so easier for you i guess you appreciate that so first off i'm going to bring in this particular perfume and i'm going to drag it inside of photoshop so we have it over here now i love this one because it already has the shadows made which it's pretty fine and it's already png as well so i'm going to hold shift and then all to close it up a little bit so that it fits into the space of the design and i'm going to double click on that now i can push this one down here and then you realize that it already since it has already created the shadow for us it makes this look pretty clean over there now one thing that you can even do is you can bring it to the rectangle over here you can bring it down and then you can right click and create a clipping mask so that even if you push it down like this it is going to fit straight into the rectangle that you created that is pretty much because we're going to place a test over here and if you realize that the test is too big for you you can actually push this down so let me push it back here and i think it looks fine over there so next off i'm going to locate this particular second rectangle that is this one or perhaps you can even start from here so what i'm going to do is i'm going back to my resources so i'll go here and then i have this particular resource that is the grouped perfume i actually grouped this one to make the design but then if you have it single handedly you can just use and import them into photoshop one after the other so i'm going to bring it in here double click on it and i'm going to send it straight into this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl t transform it a little bit so that it can look clean over there and i'll go back into my resources and i have this particular blue i don't really know if this is called blue perfume or whatever so i'll just bring that one to here and i'm going to position that over here so that is the set of group that we actually want on this one and afterwards like i said i'll go back to change the color so i'm going to change this particular color back to white and just to make sure that it does not blend with the white rectangle i'm going to right click on this one go to the blending options and i'm going to add a shadow or drop shadow to it so i'm going to increase the size like that and then you realize that it distinguishes from the background that is the white background over there so you go ahead and then you click ok and then the next one that you're going to do for will be the rounded rectangle this particular one so i'll go into my resources and let's see i have this particular one here okay this comes first so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop here i'll position it right over here let me know in the comment section which perfume you use i want actually recommendations for perfume i need a new perfume to use so i'm going to bring this one here this luxury perfume and i'm going to position that one also over here like i said i've already taken the backgrounds for you so if you download these resources it is going to be pretty much easy for you to use so i'm going to bring this one down a little bit like this and we do the same process for this one so i'm going to double click on the layer thumbnail here and change the color to white and then okay and then i'm going to hold alt drag this effect and drag it onto the rounded rectangle if you want to see tips and tricks like this i have a video on that and i want to see that so once we're done with that we're going to close this one up and the rest of the things is going to be the test 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 so we can group all of these ones from here and call it the minor perfumes or something like that something that makes sense here <laughs> so minor perfumes here and we're going to add a test so i've grouped my test as well here the first one that i'm going to actually bring in is the main company's name so mac perfumes 
he's a dealer in perfumes you can check him out on instagram so i'm going to use the font acrobat and it's going to be an all caps so i paste it right over there change the boldness to semi bold and i'm going to press ctrl t to open this one up so macabella perfumes so i think this looks very thin and i'm going to change this one to bold now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that it is center aligned change the color to something very kind of gray something around here let's go down a little bit that i don't want it to be that white so i think this looks good i'll click ok and i'm going to press ctrl a to make sure that everything is selected and i'm going to center it horizontally now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to push my rounded rectangle here a little bit down like that something like this so i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl j and i'll drag it over here i'll go to my resources and the perfumes ed perfume well what's the meaning of ed perfume i'm going to select that and over here i'm going to paste it so i'm going to select all of this paste it here and i'll select it all and change the color to white now if it feels so small for you you can press ctrl j to close it up and i'm still using acrobat just decided to use one font for this and let's see how it comes up now if this feels so small for you you might want to actually make some more room for that particular test i didn't actually do the measurement right for the design but if you take your time you're going to get some great measurements the next thing that we're going to do is going to make a duplicate again so ctrl j drag it over here double click on it to select the test and then you're going to change the color back to black and then you click ok and then you go back to your test and then you're going to copy this test copy it here and then you go back to photoshop paste it and there you have it so i'm going to select all of these go to my toggle character and i have you can see from there that the spacing isn't that great so i'm going to open my leading like that to open up other spacing and i can set this to around minus 20 that is the tracking so i'll change this one from bold to semi bold and i can actually push or push it up over here this actually looks like way too much so if actually you are trying to design something for yourself try to make it very brief and simple so that people can actually read this it makes the whole design look way too much so that will be pretty much it the last things that we're going to do is we're going to add the social media links to it so first off you're going to need a phone icon so i got three of them for you in the description if you want to download it i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop and i'm going to close it up transform it to be small now what i'm going to do is i'll bring it underneath here and then you can hold z and then left click to zoom in you can press ctrl t to transform it out to make sure that it looks good over there take your time okay and then you take your time to do that and you can right click on this one rasterize the layer right click again and go to the blending options so what we're going to do is we want to change the color of this one but it doesn't give us the option like a normal shape would do so you apply the overlay the color overlay to it and then you can change the color to white you click ok ok and then ok from here so from there you're going to add a test so you select your test tool and then you can write anywhere here I've already copied the test or the phone number so whatever I'm just going to copy and paste it over here I'm still using Acrobat I told you I'm going to use just one font and then you can see how one font can make your design even look so great you don't need to use like a bunch of tests to make your design so so something else I don't want to make or mention that something else so you position your test over here and then it looks clean from there from there you can go ahead and employ the strategy of the rulers to help you guide you so you can bring this one here and then you bring another one here just that just to make sure that the next icons that you're going to bring in will be on the same line with that of the call icon so what i'm going to do is i go into my resources and i have the whatsapp icon so i'll bring it over here 
I'm going to scale it down like that and then you can see that it has to fit into the rulers or the guides that we've set already so like that and then I'll hold alt and drag the effect onto that one and then you should copy the color onto that so we're going to duplicate the test so Control j duplicate and you bring it over here to make sure that you are in a safe place kindly just make this the left align so that you don't have to be repositioning it so you bring it over here go into your resources you have the whatsapp line if you need perfume you can contact macbarua this is a free advert so you're going to paste it right over there and just like that and the last thing that i'm actually going to add will be the email icon you can add the rest the social media handles to it now after you're done with everything to make sure that this also is in the middle what you're going to do is you're going to select right from the call icon the first one over here select through to the whatsapp icon and then you're going to group that you can call that the socials or the contacts okay so something like contacts and what you're going to do is you're going to press ctrl a to select it all and make sure that you center it horizontally that is going to make your work look even and very professional and if you want to follow them on instagram and on facebook it is macboa perfumes it is a free advert don't forget that i'm still taking the collection of perfumes that you use in the comment section i'll be very glad to try a new perfume out and if possible switch on to a different perfume that's it if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section i'll be glad to assist you thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here and bye